What's up everybody, it's Joe from GLDB Games coming at you with another cool video back in playing a coaster and uh, this episode is going to be all about pretty much making the layout of the hyper coaster. Now I know it's pretty big and probably oversized but um, uh, it's going to be a record breaking coaster I guess, I suppose, <laughs> but um, yeah, so <laughs> it's going to be a big coaster, um, it's going to have a, it does have a pretty basic layout. Um, big drops, lots of airtime, and uh, that's about it. So this is about the only coaster I don't have a name for uh, at the moment. I'm trying to look for a name for a big coaster and a color scheme, and I haven't named it or anything, so I don't really have a color for it, or a color for it yet or a color scheme. I probably won't leave it this orange and blue. It looks reminds me too much of Goliath from Six Flags. Now, uh, I might change this turn later in the future. It kind of turned out kind of awkward and not uh, the way I wanted it. So I might actually come back to that sometime in the future. As you can see, it kind of looks a little bit awkward. But um, for right now, that will work. Uh, kind of, I guess. So um, I realized that I had quite a bit of this big space still uh, in that spot right there where I could actually add another ride. I think I'm going to go ahead and leave that empty. And when we get water rides or something, I'm going to add a couple water rides around the park. And I think that will complete the park eventually in the end when we get to that point. But um, I will do a cinematic video and stuff probably before any new Alpha comes out and stuff. My goal is to complete this park before Alpha 3 comes out. And I think I will end up doing that because I don't have too much left to do. Mostly just some detailing. And after we get that detailing done, it's going to be pretty much done. I got pretty much all the rides in. Uh, I might put in a flat ride, another flat ride or two in, in the end. But for the most part, the layout of the park is complete. And you can kind of see where it's going. So this hyper coaster is simple and, uh, you know, has a turnaround back over here. And uh, after it turns around, I ha after I have it turn around, it act I actually have it to where it's slow on the ground, so it keeps its speed for the most part. And I think that will make it a little bit more exciting in the long run than having little tiny small hills. Uh, and just keeping its speed up, I think, will make the ride just a little more enjoyable for the thrill seekers out there. Um, but it is a very long ride, and I was actually kind of worried that I wasn't going to be able to make it back to the station, because I'm on the completely opposite opposite side of the park at this point uh, at this turnaround point as you can see how much further I have to get back to get to the back to the station and that's a long ways to go so um, but it, it still had a plenty of speed to get back uh, thankfully so it might be a good thing that I did make this coaster as tall as I did that way it had plenty of momentum to get back to the station and um, I don't know I wish I had heart marks on the tracks so I could kind of actually figure out how tall it is I want to say it's over 300 feet, but I could be wrong, <laughs> or really close to 300 feet uh, in the long run, uh, I'm guessing. I'm going to say the high, or the uh, dive coaster is close to 200 feet, if not higher. Um, that's going to be my prediction, uh, but the, the wing coaster itself was actually not very tall um, compared to these, thing, these guys right here, but uh, I feel it was a pretty thrilling ride. So anyways... Uh, we're going, uh, the pretty much this is just me trying to get it back to the station in a thrilling way and a way that makes the layout look kind of cool. It has pretty much an L-shaped layout and uh, I think it looks pretty decent in the long run for a hyper coaster. Uh, hyper coasters, uh, I love hyper coasters in my actual life. I've only really ridden one hyper coaster and I love it and... I love the heights on them, I love the airtime. it's just uh, a great feeling. And uh, I wish I could say I've been on more, but uh, the only one I've actually really been on, and it's actually one of the smallest ones, smaller ones, is um, Mamba from uh, Worlds of Fun. And uh, I think that's only like 205 feet tall, uh, and it's the tallest park, or tallest coaster in that park. And that's the only hyper coaster I've really been on. I really want to go around and uh, ride some new hyper coasters. I actually just visited SeaWorld, and it was literally a month before uh, Mako opened, and that and it sucked because they were testing it that entire day I was there. 
uh, the trains were running and I was like, it was just killing me because I wanted to ride it so bad because it looked so much fun and so cool. And it's already open now and I'm like, ah, uh, if I would have planned my trip a little bit later. But uh, anyways, that's that. And I'm sure I'll go back eventually someday uh, to experience some of those rides that I missed out on. Uh, because I also went to Universal and the Incredible Hulk coaster was down for the month <laughs> as well as it was getting some renovations. But anyways, that's the layout of the uh, hyper coaster right here. As you can see, it's pretty huge and uh, it had some pretty decent speed at the end, which is nice because um, it, it's pretty fast through the entire ride. And uh, later I do get into the, uh, the next, I think it's in two episodes actually. The, no, it might be the next episode. I can't believe, I can't remember. It's episode 20 or 21. I actually work on the station for the hyper coaster and it's gonna have like its own little area kind of. It's kind of like a castle type theme. Uh, has a lot of castle to it and the queue line's pretty interactive. I think it's kind of cool. But uh, we'll get that to that when we get there. But it, this hyper coaster is just massive and it wraps around the park very nicely, I thought. And we still have quite a bit of room here in the um and the park uh, to further expand in the future and that's a neat little thing <clears throat> so uh i believe this episode i continue the pathway around the lake and that's exactly what i do so we continue this around the lake and i think i'm going to have a lot of buildings on the outside of these pathways and stuff and uh, that will make those a little bit cooler but yeah Sorry, I, I had to go grab something real quick. <sighs> I actually have some cats wandering around and they're tickling my feet, so um, that's that's cute. <laughs> um, but anyways, back to what we were we're supposed to be talking about, not cats. <laughs> uh, uh, let me guys know in the comments what you guys think so far about this park, and if you like the layouts of the coasters, if you like how the uh, coasters are turning out. Um, I know there's a lot of detailing I still have to do for the park in general, and uh, that will happen, and uh, it's not going to be finished until all that's done, because there's a lot of detailing to do, and, uh, and here I actually detail the queue line and uh, entrance for the carousel, because it was naked, and uh, we can't have that. <laughs> <clears throat> but this is pretty much cares. It was something just a pretty simple queue line and nothing too fancy But I thought I'd spice up the uh, uh, little entrance gate here uh, the golden arch which I can't wait till they get rid of those um, Which for a ride or two it might be an okay entrance and stuff, but uh, I Sometimes I just want to get rid of them. I can't wait till custom signs as well Those will be nice so we can have our names of our, our actual names of our rides on the signs, which would be really nice, cool too. You can actually write whatever you want, as well. So the uh, uh, carousel has its sign, and it's looking pretty good. And I just still need to, on a lot of the rides, need to change the textures of the uh, uh, the ground parts themselves uh, in the future. And hopefully, I get around to that. Hopefully, I remember to get to that uh, sometime soon. But that is that. It's just more foliage and plants and some cool stuff here and there. And that's the carousel. <laughs> and that's about it. And uh, here we have the awesome looking Ferris wheel that the wing coaster goes through. I thought I'd do a little bit of detailing on it as well while I was over here. And the cats are getting into the Oreos. Gosh dang it. Why do the cats get in Oreos? I don't know why they did that. <laughs> Like, uh, I, that probably made no sense, what I just said. But, <laughs> anyways, uh, I always like to do, the, of course, the rock work on the uh, elevated pathways. Um, I think it always looks good, uh, like always. And uh, with the theming, I think it, it goes perfectly together. So that is that part right there. But, dum, dum, dum. Him. <laughs> in these commentaries you run out of things to say pretty much because you know there's it's a lot of repetitiveness repetitiveness in a lot of these um 
situations that we go in here. And I think, ooh, do I create? Nah, just some props. And I thought I did possibly another building before this episode ended, but I cannot remember at all whatsoever. <laughs> because I'm just like so far ahead in the recording that, um, that I just can't remember which episode's what. And I just kind of, you know, all my commentary in these are pretty much improv. Yeah, and then I make this little, I made this little uh, tunnel for the uh, hypercoaster at the beginning, just to give it a little bit more of excitement before you hit to the um, lift hill, before you go up the lift hill. And uh, it turns out pretty cool, and I might add some cool stuff for that as well. Um, and uh, just some trees and foliage to get this area started, because there's going to be a lot of tree placing in the future. That is for sure. And trees, trees, gotta love the trees. Trees, trees, and trees, and more trees, and more trees. We just gotta love the trees. Because without trees, it doesn't look as good. If you have a bad coaster, just add some foliage and trees around it. It makes it look so much better. It really does. And that's, the f that's kind of a funny thing, you know? Because I don't like, I think my coasters are that great, or my rides, but add the trees around them, and they look fantastic. But, um, pretty close to the end of the episode here, so I'm going to go ahead and leave it at that. Um, hope you guys have enjoyed, uh, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching, leave in the comments uh, what you guys think so far, and uh, have a great day, and an even cooler tomorrow. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.